What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Phantom Wallet. Phantom Wallet is available on mobile device and in your web browser. At the time of recording, it's available on iPhone, Chrome, Brave and few more. So if we go to phantom.app and then in here we need to press on download and then this window is going to appear. As of right now, you can see it's only available on iPhone. I'm sure on Android is going to be available later. And then for the desktop, it's on Chrome, Brave, Firefox and Edge. So you need to choose which web browser you're using right now. I'm using Chrome. And then once this window is going to appear, just press on add to Chrome and then add extension. Then we're going to be presented with this screen. And if you already have Solana wallet and you have a recovery phrase, you can press on use secret recovery phrase or for this video tutorial i'm just going to create new wallet i'm going to press on create new wallet this is going to be our secret recovery phrase so we're just going to copy and we need to save it somewhere and then once you have that saved just press on okay i saved it somewhere and then we need to come up with the password and then put a check mark next to agree terms of services and then press on continue. And this is just a keyboard short keys, press on continue and that's it. It's all done, press on finish. And if you are using Chrome, most likely you're gonna have to press on this little puzzle extensions and then pin your Phantom wallet. Once you do that, the little icon is gonna appear over here and then let's go to Solana Marketplace. So there's one called Magic Eden Marketplace. This is actually a really good one. If you would like to purchase any NFTs or any kind of maybe a land for metaverse or something like that. Once you're gonna go to this website, right away, automatically, your Phantom Wall is gonna appear and it's gonna try to connect to Magic Eden website or to any kind of marketplace website. So this window is gonna appear, but right now we're just gonna press on connect and then we're gonna talk about it later. Now, if we press on this little logo, Phantom logo, then this window is gonna appear. So right here, by default, it's gonna show our balance and then there's gonna be a few options. One deposit and second one is send. So if we press on deposit, then this window is gonna appear and it's basically gonna give us a couple options what we would like to deposit. We can buy Solana or maybe other tokens with the MoonPay and then transfer from FTX or at the same time, which you can do if you're gonna press on this little top, it's gonna to copy this address, your Solana address. And then if you'll go to, let's say for example, Coinbase or any other exchanges, you can use this wallet to transfer Solana and it's gonna appear in your wallet. And then if you press on send, similar thing is gonna show up right here. You'll have to put Solana address where you would like to send and then it's gonna give you an option which coins you would like to send. Then if we press on manage token list, this list is gonna appear. And right here, if we toggle the switch, then the token is gonna to appear automatically. Let's just type Sol. That's basically Solana or wrapped Solana. And then you can press on close. And as you can see, Solana token appeared over here and you can add as many tokens as you need. The next tab right here, this is your collectibles. This is where, for example, if you're actually gonna go to Magic Eden and gonna buy one of these NFTs, then your NFT is gonna appear over here. And then if we're gonna press on this middle tab, and right here, this is basically their built-in swap. So if you would like to swap, let's say you need to purchase something and you have to use USDT, you can swap Solana to USDT. You'll just have to type how much you would like to swap, let's say one, and I don't have official balance, but that's what you're gonna be getting at the moment hundred dollars then the slippage and then estimated fee is going to be only 20 cents and then price impact one percent and then you can review your order and then you can swap i don't have any solana so it's not gonna let me do that the next thing right here this is your recent activity so for example if you're going to do any swaps or you're going to make any purchases or transfer all your activities is going to show up over here then the next tab is settings so in settings we have multiple things. So this is wallet one. This is basically the name of the wallet. You can rename it to something else. If you're going to rename it, it's going to change it over here. Then display languages. Press on this. You can choose language that is supported. Address book. You can add Solana addresses here. So that way, for example, let's say you're making some kind of deals with somebody or you're just sending constantly Solana to some kind of particular address you can add it in the address book so that way you won't have to find it every single time. Then trusted apps. So trusted apps, this is basically where your phantom wall is connected to right now. So at this time, whenever we open up the website, we connected to Magic Eden. And as you can see right here, Magic Eden is connected. 
So once you get done using any kind of swap or maybe NFT marketplaces or any kind of sites where you have to connect your Phantom wallet, I would recommend once you got done using, go to trusted apps and revoke. So that way you're not gonna be staying connected to that specific app or maybe dApp or something like that. And then we can change password here, auto lock timer. So after so many minutes or so many seconds, it's gonna lock automatically and then change network. So if you go right here, right now it's mainnet beta. But for example, if you are testing some kind of applications or you're using Phantom Wallet for something to test or develop, you can set it to testnet, devnet, and local hosts. And then the last thing right here, this is export private key. So basically, if you are trying to use maybe this wallet on some kind of other app or somewhere else and you have to have your private key, you can press on it here and it's gonna show you your private key and then show your recovery phrase as well. That's the one we saved it while we were setting up the wallet and then we can remove wallet and then reset secret recovery phrase. Okay, and then if we go back to main tab and on the top left corner, if you press on this little hamburger menu. So right here, we can create a wallet. We can press on add or connect wallet. So if we do that, we can create a new wallet. We can import private key or we can connect hardware wallet here. And then we can lock wallet and then help and support. And right here on the top right corner, as you can see this little indicator, if it's gonna be green, that's mean that it's connected to some kind of application or some kind of app or swap or something else. And if you hover over it, it's gonna tell you that it's connected to magicidden.io. And this is pretty much it. That's how you set up and use Phantom Wallet on your desktop computer. And it's gonna be very similar process. It's gonna be almost identical if you're gonna be using Phantom Wallet on your iPhone or iPad. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to send Solana to your Phantom Wallet. And this is pretty much it. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.